Well, you must have known about the true story on which this is based. No, no, no. You it didn't. was it was a select the location uh, and environment first story will come out of that. The first thing that we did was actually just talk to the community. Once we'd sort of uh, made the arrangements with them, which was all sort of fairly complicated and slow and patient, you know, you had to sort of um, go in under the right terms and, um, you know, make sure that they knew what was going on and that what they knew what they were committing to. Uh, but once that had been set up um, and we, we moved into the village, we just talked for, uh, you know, two or three months um, where we were absorbing the sort of, the, you know, the, the culture, um, learning all we could about the culture and constructing the story with them. This is a community that has decided absolutely to live mm. the way they've always lived, mm. despite the incursion of mm. the Western world into their country. That's right. At a certain our preconceived ideas, because we did have them, of course, was that we would do something a bit like Ten Canoes, like set it before European uh, Europeans had arrived. Uh, but it quickly became apparent, no, this is much more interesting. The fact that they have chosen, they're just like half an hour down the road is um, the main town. Uh, they they know about the outside world, um, and yet they're choosing to live the way in which their ancestors have always lived. And I, I think that I'm, I don't even actually know where that's happened elsewhere in the world.